Monthly cleanups organized by a conservation group in Malindi brings together different stakeholders from the business community, hoteliers, school children, their teachers, imams and Muslim students among others and it is aimed at making Malindi greener and cleaner. Kenya Wildlife Service officials who were part of the cleanup team in Malindi along the shores of Indian Ocean were called to witness the dead turtle and confirmed it was the hawksbill turtle that is suspected to have died after reportedly consuming plastic waste along the shores. This is hawksbill turtle. It has been washed away by water. It seems to be killed by plastics. That's why we clean the beach always. Like in the sense to find these organizations tafauti tafauti na kutokana na ushirikiano wa Pwam nimekuwa ni mzuri sana kwamba kila mwezi tunafanya usafi mara moja. Speaking at the scene where it was found, the conservationists said normally turtles eat the white plastics thinking it's jellyfish and end up developing complications that lead to death. The plastics are eaten by the turtles also. Those white plastics, the turtles think that it's a jellyfish. Special hawksbill feed on jellyfishes. So when they see those plastics, they think that it's a jellyfish. So when they eat it, it expands in the stomach. And finally, it kills, it suffocates and makes there and it has been washed away by the water to the shore upon examining the dead turtle the conservationists said they found no marks on the turtle that indicated whether the turtle died due to an attack from the humans they said it is important for everyone visiting the beaches to keep plastic in a safe place so as to save endangered species there are no marks to show that the turtle has been killed by a person and uh, mostly it might be a natural death or the plastics. The turtle was later buried and flowers were placed on top of the grave. That's why it's very important for everybody to handle his or her plastics, to keep them in a safer place, to save the life of the endangered species that we have. And uh, in fact, this species are very few in the world and uh, there is a need of us to conserve them. Na hii itasaidia sana kufanya mazingira ya baharini na kuokoa maisha ya viumbe vya baharini. The monthly cleanups that bring different stakeholders from Malindi will go a long way in saving creatures of the ocean that are threatened by plastic waste. Kind of Stefano, Ebr TV.